Hey everyone and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today we are going to be previewing one of the more mysterious allied races, the Maghar Orcs, but that's actually not all. Upright Orcs are also properly in the Battle for Azeroth test build, so we're going to check those out too to see how they actually feel in combat. But first, the Maghar. So these guys are a pretty interesting bunch. Most of us associate them with the Burning Crusade, however Maghar technically is orcish for uncorrupted, so it does apply to, well, all non-corrupted orcs. Interestingly, they started off being called orc clans in the internal, like, the game files, and that kind of reflects how this allied race is really a lot more than just brown orcs, um, which is what we originally expected. So, while they mightn't be tremendously flashy, what we do actually get is a lot of variation, because instead of just being one clan of orcs from Outland, we're actually getting pretty much all of the Draenor clans, um, or at least the ones that, you know, we didn't kill in Warlords of Draenor. The narrative behind this introduction is completely unknown, but it will be strange to see them interact with the Alliance and the Horde, as well as the alternate universe Draenei. Warlords of Draenor ended with a whole lot, a lot of us being friends, especially the Orcs and the Draenei of AU Draenor. So there is some speculation here that maybe Sarfang will take it upon himself to bring the Magkar into the fold, but that is just purely speculation at this stage. Anyway, let's get right into it with the models. So the addition of the Magkar fulfills a long-standing request from Horde players, the ability to play as a non-corrupted orc. For most players, this of course just meant brown orcs, but as you can actually see, there are options which really do represent far more clans. So let's take a look at all the variations. so there's the new orc skins. I think it's fair to say that they're pretty damn metal. We're going to cover the upright orcs in a bit, but let's first take a look at the new Maghar orc mount and their really epic looking clan armor. There isn't a massive amount to say about the mount. At the end of the day, it's a modern blizzard wolf mount, so it kind of looks fantastic. As for the heritage armor set, well, this one's particularly cool because there are tints of it which represent the various different orc clans. I don't know if you'll be able to choose between which tent, uh, tint you get, or um, if you'll get them all, or if this will be something that is based off your character's skin color, which kind of correlates with their clan affiliation, um, but yeah, that's the Heritage Armor set. I think it's particularly cool looking, um, yeah, definitely is nailing the whole orcish vibe, and really these guys do seem like a pretty damn fantastic pick for an orc, and I could actually see more people being these guys than being the base orcs, because, well, I mean, they're they're just better in some ways with the tattoos and stuff than the original ones. Anyway, the only thing that's going to be odd to see is the narrative behind their introduction, but next up though, let's talk about upright orcs. So the first things you notice when an orc gets upright is the, the feel of the orc. They come across as being a bit less savage. They sort of trade in some ferocity for a mastery, so to speak. And now this sort of makes sense. One of the reasons why Thrall stood upright in Cataclysm when he was supposed to be a hero to everyone is because standing upright um, and he had a sort of a more humanized face, that makes him, uh, you know, more relatable to humans and, you know, standing upright is, uh, it's like a basic human response in terms of posture is shoulders back, you know, back straight. So yeah, they, 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 there's just a change to the feel of the orcs. Now for me, I'm actually completely fine with it. I think it does look uh, pretty badass. Now the animations currently, they are a little bit stiff, but I overall do think they, they get the job done well. So visually, I love the nobility that this brings to player orcs. And I like how it's a customization option. Um, because, let's just say if I'm playing a Fury Warrior, well, that's probably still going to be hunched over. But if I'm playing an Arms Warrior, yeah, then I'm probably going to go upright. For me, there's no reason why players can't play a heroic orc like Thrall or Sarfang, now that his model has also been updated to be standing up straight. And really, if you look at an up straight orc, or an upright orc, it is pretty much the perfect orc blade master look. That would go particularly well with, okay, of course, an arms warrior, as I said, but also a few transmogs so he can look like that, um, that orc clan. I also really like the extra height that this posture give the orcs. Uh, they just feel really powerful, and one of the best ways to appreciate that is probably just taking a look at them in armor. So let's go and do a quick upright orc armor preview.
So there you have it, a look at the new Magcar Orcs and the Upright Orc customization option. Overall, I think looking pretty damn cool. So that is it for the video, but first I've got to thank everyone over at Patreon. Their help has been absolutely fantastic and over at Patreon you can find early access to videos, behind the scenes content, vlogs, the Patreon AMA and a whole bunch of other stuff. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Thank you.